Conservation is a complicated topic. Take any of the current big issues and you'll generally find arguments in favour of and against said issue. One such issue is of course trophy hunting, which has been in the news recently as a result of a Miss Larissa Switlick posting a photograph on Twitter with a dead goat shot on the Isle of Islay in Scotland. Switlick is a TV presenter in America, a country which has entire shows about shooting animals. A cursory look over her Twitter feed shows a large number of pictures of her posing with dead animals, including such ferocious quarries as sheep, peacocks, bunny rabbits, and fish. Clearly a latter-day Jim Corbett, this one. The question is, why was it this photo that provoked all the outrage, so much that even Nicola Sturgeon, Scotland's first minister, got involved? Are the Scots really this protective of their domestic farm animals? In this video I'd like to discuss the ethics and implications of hunting said farmyard animals, and whether this is an affront to conservation, or perhaps an asset to the cause, as some Twitter ecologists have suggested. However, let's start off with a good laugh at the expense of this great white huntress. I mean, for pity's sake, she shot a goat with a powerful gun from 200 metres away while wearing full camouflage gear. Apparently, she and her hunting partner spent the best part of two days tracking down these creatures, while residents of the island have confirmed that the easiest way to hunt down one of these goats is with a head of lettuce and a large brick. These are, to all intents and purposes, domestic animals. Wild only in so much as they are feral, but still as tame as anything. In fact, while most news articles claim that there has been a great deal of outrage, I think a lot of the comments have been more of bafflement and ridicule. Because, for all intents and purposes, infuriating as Larissa's eating grin is, has she really done anything illegal or immoral? I mean, I eat meat. And lettuce. Most people don't eat heads of lettuce like this, but... It's good. It's good. I mean, I eat meat. Not as much as most meat eaters, granted, but I still eat it once or twice a week, and more when I go back to my parents' house. Shooting animals is, for the most part, a more ethical source of meat. Those sheep and goats get to live natural lives which are usually much longer than the farm animals that we eat. And what about the legality of hunting goats? Well, as feral animals, they don't appear to have the same protections as British wildlife. I'm no expert on hunting law, but as far as I can tell, with the right licences and the landowner's permission, none of what she did was illegal either. There is an argument to be made that feral animals need more protections, but another that they need less. You see, feral animals are not wild. They're non-native domestics that have been allowed to roam free. And yes, culls often take place for such animals in order to ensure they don't cause too much damage to native plant species. Some people have argued that encouraging these big egoed hunters to kill said feral animals is an economically beneficial way of carrying out these culls. Not only does the landowner gain money rather than expend it on killing the animals themselves, but it also keeps the hunters occupied. Surely it's better to have these people killing small defenseless farm animals that are really common than big defenseless giraffes that are actually quite rare but people were too dumb Dumb to realise until now. It's a mess. Oh no. <laughs> Use the other end. <laughs> so, where did this leave us? Defending these smug hunter types because their actions are not dissimilar from those of serious conservation organisations? Feeling awkward because the meat that I eat is probably less sustainably produced or ethically killed than theirs? Or laughing at the fact that a pair of American hunters came all the way to Scotland, dressed up in full camouflage gear, loaded up a bunch of high-powered weapons, spent two days trekking around the countryside before shooting a couple of farmyard animals and then boasting about it on Twitter? Because that's the real ethical kicker. It's not the action of killing a feral goat that's the problem, it's the boasting. Feral cats are arguably an even bigger problem than goats, but if I posted a picture of me having shot a feral cat, the internet would go ballistic. Goats, as domestic animals, are in the awkward position of being between cute pets and tasty cuts of meat. Sheep are somewhat below them, and rabbits and peacocks somewhere above. But should we really be drawing a line? No one should be taking glee in having dispatched an animal, especially not if only for the purposes of so-called sport. Animals deserve respect. They're just as alive as any of us. Sure, I eat pigs, but when I see a pig in captivity, I don't scorn it or spit on it. I give it a scratch behind the ear. That was enough, was it? Oh, and we're back. <laughs> and so I think that's why, regardless of the logic of conservation, trophy hunting just feels wrong.
Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed listening to me wittering on about conservation and trophy hunting. I hope to produce some more videos about similar subjects when they come up in the news soon. So if you want to see more content like this... You know, I really hated it when other YouTubers used to do things like this at the end of their videos, but, you know, you just become what you vow to destroy, don't you?